Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. As you can see, we are doing another painting. It's a flip cup. You can see I got my three clear cups there. Got my colors on the side. Uh, once I get everything in there flipped over, we'll go over the actual colors, but you'll be able to see as I'm pouring here, we got a yellow. My pouring's a little off today. So I made my paints up yesterday. I was gonna paint and just it didn't happen. <laughs> so if you do the painting on your end, you know what it's like. I've got six colors, about 95 grams of paint of each color. This is a 12 by 16 canvas. Let's get a little bit more black in here. I've got my silicone in all the colors except black and white. Getting into the blues here now. I'm not sure how this one is going to turn out. I'm hoping it might look kind of sun going down in the Caribbean. Something like that, but you never know with fluid art. What you imagine in your head isn't necessarily <laughs> what you get on the canvas. That's what makes it so much fun. At least for me. I'm sure there's some people that it gets pretty frustrating. You're trying to create something specific and you just can't. Get on the canvas what you want. I know we're going to get potentially some greens and purples in this. I do have my blues separated from my yellow and red there by the white and black but they're still going to touch to some extent. So hopefully not uh, too much. I'm not sure which color is going to take over. I'm thinking it's going to be the red. That's my guess, but I've been surprised too many times. So it looks like my second layer here is going to be a bit thicker than my first layer. I tried. And I'm scraping the cups to get all the paint. Mainly because paint is expensive. Don't want to waste any, even though I turn around and tilt a good chunk of it off. But that's uh, how this game is played. Okay, there is our yellow all done. I can see the red, white, and blue kind of dribbles down the side of the cup. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Okay, let's get this red done up. Sorry if the lighting seems a little darker. It's, even though we're having a very nice day in my neck of the woods, the sun is hiding behind clouds, which is not very nice, but we got snow melting. So a nice balmy day, which is nice because it was pretty cold yesterday. Like it kind of came out of nowhere. And what was it about a week ago, week and a half ago, we just came out of a cold snap. Yeah, about a week and a half ago. So I do not like the cold. Don't know if anyone is with me on that. Brr, just don't like it. As a kid, I didn't mind it actually. Like I loved going tobogganing and building snowmen, making snow angels, you know, all that fun stuff as a kid. You know, play till you get cold, then come inside, get your mittens off, put them over the vent so they could dry off because they were soaking wet. Anyone else have memories like that? You know, pulling out the liners of your boots. Take your snow pants off. Obviously, I'm in an area that gets quite cold. 
If you live in an area where it doesn't snow, you're very lucky, but you also have a bit of a downside because you get some really weird bugs and I'm not a bug person. So... So every place that you live has its upsides and its downsides. You know, you might, if you don't get snow, you might get a rainy season. So that your winter is just cloudy and overcast. So, but enough about the weather. What should we talk about? Let's see. I was going to do this painting yesterday, as I said. I think I said that. So I did up my paints yesterday. Ended up not happening. So I just used big red solo cups to cover the tops of these cups here to keep the paint from drying out. So that works pretty good. I know some people use uh, like paper towel that's wetted down, but I find I've tried that and even after an hour, it's already kind of dry. <laughs> so that one doesn't seem to work for me. But I live in a dry area too, so that could be part of the problem. Very dry. Actually live pretty close to the mountains. So we get that mountain air, which dries out. Almost done with my colors. Then we'll flip these cups over, let the magic happen, and then hopefully I don't mess up. Keep my fingers crossed. White is the last one. So I didn't want white or black to be the dominant color showing. That's why I started with the yellow. So I'm kind of wanting the yellow maybe to be the focal point. <laughs> so hopefully I have thought this through. So this white should be on the bottom. This isn't the rule first color in is the last color out. Okay, there are our three cups done. Let's flip these. So something totally weird happened. I don't know what, but my camera stopped recording. Boo! So just getting my gloves back on. I had looked, because I use my phone to record. So I had looked up and I saw that my wallet because i got an apple phone my wallet was on the screen and i'm like what the heck is going on so i don't know how long i've been yakking to myself sorry still getting my gloves on so the last thing i was saying before it went away was i hope everyone's new year so far has been great for them took my gloves off wrong. Ah, you can't take me anywhere. I know I say that lots, but it seems to be applicable to me a lot of times. All right, there we go. I can see that cup has released. Let's go over colors. So white and black. White is Amsterdam, black is Liquidex. So I got primary blue, cadmium, red deep hue, one of my favorite colors, turquoise blue. And then maples yellow hue. So, very nice colors. Hope they're all gonna mix well together. Just making sure my other cups have released. They should have by this point. Okay, yeah, I can see it on the sides. It's always tricky. Okay, just moving one of my lights out of the way. So let's give this a go. Not my best pour out. There's all my red coming out. I'm gonna leave that cup on the side. So let's go a little slower this time. I'm 
doing this to save some paint. I know some artists recommend it, others don't. I find it helps me and yeah, you got to do what works best for you. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Okay, not my best drags. Not much left in that one, so let's go back to my first one. And again, I know the main reason to not do this as you get muddied colors, but I'm more just wetting my canvas, All right? So lots of little baby cells popping in there. Okay, let's flip this around. We're gonna start going the opposite way. Okay, I was actually thinking the red or the yellow was going to be the most dominant color. Boy, am I wrong. See, you could never guess on this. Or at least I can't. I'm barely seeing the yellow, but maybe when I torch for my cells, we'll get some nice yellow and red. A few air bubbles in there. Ah, you just can't get away from the air bubbles. Okay, come on, paint, go over. Here we go. Bring the paint back. Back to the center. Flip them around. Yeah, like look at that cell there. That one is quite nice. Just wiping off my hands before I grab my blowtorch. Make sure we're still recording. We are. Yay. Okay, let's torch. Very tiny cells. Trying not to get too, too close. I don't want caterpillars. What's well, a fine line between getting your cells to come up and getting caterpillars. I'm gonna get a little closer. There we go. I can see some more popping up. A nice little cluster right there on the bottom left corner. Figured I'd take you for the whole torching ride on this one. Just because I feel so bad that the video stopped recording. Sorry, I shouldn't be yelling. I actually have a new microphone. I got a gamer's headset. So my last one was omnidirectional. So it was picking up my cats meowing. You know, all that stuff going on. Okay. So pretty good over there. Need a bit more down on that corner. Need a bit more right there. Put some in there as well.
Okay, yeah, we got a nice little, probably too much of a cluster there. <laughs> it's a couple little caterpillars. Should we put some more in right there? Uh, no, let's tilt. Let's see what happens. Oh, because I'm knocking stuff over. Apparently today was maybe not a day to paint. Maybe the painting gods or whoever it is that controls if you're going to have good or not so good paintings decided today was not my day. <laughs> Tip off that corner. Okay, now let's get the paint. Without stretching too much. Gotta get it over to that corner. Oh, I feel like I didn't think this one through enough. Let's get it over. Bring it back. Okay, my yellow has come out to play. That makes me very happy. Okay. Grab a paper towel, wipe up my mess. What do we think? Ooh, that red and Naples yellow are so pretty together. Just checking my edges, see if I gotta fix any. Got a little, little bit of fixing to do. That's the easy part. I know I usually do it off camera, but it was bothering me. So I'm just picking similar colors and laying my palette brush. It's not a brush. My little palette scraper thing. Art tool, whatever you want to call it. Just laying it into the paint, then leaning it against the side of the canvas. Okay. I feel like I gotta pull the paint back a little bit more, so let's do that. Okay, we're gonna clean up the edges. You get to come along for that ride with me. My cups everywhere. Went onto the side of the canvas there. That's okay. I will fix it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's turn this around so I can check the other side. Oh geez, there's a huge section here that I missed. Okay, one more side to go. There. Pretty, pretty. Get you centered. I'm gonna zoom you in. Get my gloves off. I really like the colors in this one. Ooh, a little too close, sorry. <laughs> so what do we think of the colors? I think the yellow and the red look really good. I almost have tones of, it's almost like a brown. And I think that's just the, the black in there, even though you can't really see it in the white. There's a few of them. I did overstretch a bit on this one. You can't win them all, but no, I really, really like it. So hopefully you like it as well. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoy doing these painting videos, so you're going to see more of them. But uh, either way, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Until next time.